Oh hey, it's Rob, and it's Halloween time, or close to it anyway. Uh, still working on the on the Reaper guys, uh, trying to get the lantern mounted. I'm still trying to figure out how to get these arms to stay up enough. I think I've got a way. It's not what I wanted to do initially. And uh, while I've been at it, one had an accident and uh, kind of fell apart. Uh, tried fixing it and uh, didn't really succeed very well. I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, try and repair it. It's, uh, hang on. It's kind of fun as a Dementor. Anyway, the basic idea that I'm going to try now is uh, got some thin steel rod. I think this is eighth inch. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try and bend it, mount it back here somewhere, and then bend it across so that it's it's holding the lantern and the arm is free to just sort of dangle. I'm not sure where I'm going to mount it yet, but uh, why don't you come along for the ride and find out with me. Uh, the first thing to do is try and remove all the uh, wire work that I did earlier. So after messing around with this a little bit, what I think I want to do is mount it here because this has got these nice rib holes, <laughs> rib holes, uh, and it goes in just about the right position overhead. I can do a little bit of bending to get it to be where I want to. Um, and you know, the perfect thing for mounting this here would be those little zip ties. I have, you know, thousands of those things hidden in my house somewhere and I couldn't find them. So I'm going to uh, try to find something else. Alright, so what I've done here is made this little bend in the wire and what I'm going to do is insert this down here into this rip hole <laughs> and that can allow me to bend it and keep it under a little bit of spring tension so that it will hold better. <laughs> okay. So that works, more or less. Uh, it's really close to his face, though. All right, let's see if we can move it around and pose it a little.
I had a quick update on the lantern wiring. Uh, you can see I've run the wire up the side here. Turns out that this cable that I got is a 22 gauge um, red and black pair that's got a jacket on it and it fits perfectly alongside the screw holes. Or, uh, uh, not screw holes, the pins that go, the, the, the receptacles for the pins that hold the two halves together. And then I've got it running out here. And then for the ends, I've got these, which are uh, not ideal, but they're uh, matching uh, two pin connectors. And I'll just put uh, one on one side and then have the other one with the cable running to it so that I can disconnect it and take it off of the, of the Reaper skeleton. All right, I've got the lantern wired up here. It's got this uh, groovy little connector on it so that I know uh, now to thread this through so that it stays sort of unobtrusive. <laughs> 